Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will find a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. So in today's video, we are going to learn the commutative property. So as you all know, usually kids are um, have little doubts in how what is commutative property and how is it used. Actually, commutative property is pretty easy. So let me give you lots of tips and tricks for this commutative property. So now let's start the commutative property. The commutative property is nothing but a plus b equals b plus a. So commutative property is usually with two variables that is a and b. Right, so only two variables. We are not going to use three. When it is used as three, that is associative. Commutative is only with two, two variables. Right. So I will show you how commutative property works for addition. So let's take the first example of commutative property. Is it working for addition? A plus B equals B plus A. Right. So now let's take a value A equals five and B equals seven. So let's take two values for A and B. Now let's see whether commutative property proves good for addition. So here we know a is five, b is seven. Let's substitute this. Five plus seven equals seven plus five. So five plus seven is twelve. Twelve equals twelve. So as you could see, commutative property holds good for addition. Now let's see the second whether it holds good for subtraction. So we have a minus b equals b minus a. This is the commutative property for subtraction. Now let's see whether it works good for subtraction. Same value we will use. We will not change the values. We will use the same values so that you have a clear picture of it. So here a equals five and b equals seven. So here a equals five. Five minus seven equals seven minus five. So as you could see, five minus seven is nothing but. Right, it is minus two. It's not plus two. It is minus two. It is an integer, right? So now, what is seven minus five? Seven minus five is two. So do you think minus two is equal to two? No, right? So commutative property does not hold good for subtraction. I think this is clear for you. Now let's see whether commutative property holds good for multiplication. So let's see the third property of multiplication, which is a multiplied by b. That is, a times b equals b times a. Now, as usual, we'll take the same value for a and b. That is, five and seven. So here, the value of a is five, and the value of b is seven. So five times seven equals seven times five. So what is seven times five times seven? Five times seven is nothing but thirty-five. And seven times five is also thirty-five, so this is equal. So a times b is equal to b times a. So commutative property holds good for multiplication. Now let's see fourth operation, which is the division. So that is a divided by b equals b divided by a. Again the same value: five divided by seven equals seven divided by five. So instead of writing like this, I can write it as Five by seven equals seven by five. Do you think these two are equal? No, because the parts are unequal. Here it is seven, and here it is five, so they are not equal. So we could say that a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a. So now it is pretty clear. A commutative property holds good only for addition and multiplication. It does not hold good for subtraction and division. So, right is it clear i hope you understood what is a commutative property in detail and i hope this method is easy for you to understand if you found this video interesting click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and do not forget to click on the like button thank you for watching